Abigail Kim spends most of her days smiling and cooing, a life made possible because of a pacemaker the size of a pill. I had run out of hope, um, and this device gave us hope. Her parents, Dan and Kelsey, knew it was the only option. It's the smallest pacemaker ever created, no bigger than a penny, designed for premature babies with deadly heart defects like Abby's. She's one of the first infants in the world to receive one. Who is the ideal candidate for this tiny pacemaker? The ones that are too small to get a, a regular device. And so I would say babies that are between two and uh, six pounds. Dr. Charlie Barul, a pediatric cardiologist at Children's National Hospital, has spent decades trying to find a better way to help those infants. Most of the time this is done for what we call congenital heart block, where the top part of the heart isn't communicating with the bottom part, and so the heart rate is just too slow. But some pacemakers are just too big for a premature baby. That's where these new devices come in. Doctors can now place the mini pacemakers in the baby's stomach and connect it to their heart. Doctors say the technology has given families with no options like the Kims life-saving care. And you can see how much smaller the miniature one is compared to the full-size one. Abby's parents, who lost a stillborn infant son to similar heart problems, are thankful. How hard was it to hear that your next pregnancy, Abigail, also had a heart condition? I mean, it's like the world collapsed all over again. We were just hoping for a miracle. It's keeping Abby alive. We actually got a miracle with Abigail. Can you give me one more kiss? Yami Shalsendor, NBC News, Washington. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.